In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Typeform to create a quiz and show people different endings based on their score. Hey there, I am Susie from Typeform, and today I'm going to show you how to add scoring to your questions and then add score ranges to your endings so that people will see different endings based on their score. Now, there are a couple of ways to do this in Typeform, including using logic in the workflow tab, but today I'm gonna to show you the easiest way to do this, which is using knowledge quiz mode. If you wanna add more advanced scoring to your form, then I would recommend watching our videos on scoring and branching, which are linked below. Okay, so let's dive in. Okay, so in this example, I am an indie film producer and I have created this fun quiz with 10 questions about film that I want to publish on social media and maybe get some buzz about my business. So each question only has one correct answer. And then I have included three endings here. So you can either be the casual moviegoer, the film enthusiast, or the ultimate cinephile. And as you can see here, I've added the social share icons so that people can share this quiz and hopefully I go viral. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go here where it says universal mode and I want to switch to knowledge quiz mode. So here you can see we have a couple of different uh, modes depending on what you're trying to achieve with your form. Uh, in this instance, we're going to use knowledge quiz mode, which lets me set the correct answers, adding a score and then setting score ranges to the endings. So here I'll just click switch mode. And then this pop-up will show up. So this shows up the first time you go into knowledge quiz mode. So to set the correct answers, uh, you can click here. Or alternatively, if you click on any question, so if you can't see this screen anymore, if you click on any question, you can see here on the side where it says set correct answers. So I'll just click there. They both take you to set correct answers. So all I'm going to do here is select the correct answer. So first by clicking it, and then here you can see that the score automatically gets set to one. So you can add more points. So for example, maybe you have a, a trickier question. You want to award more points for that just by clicking here or simply typing in how many points you want for that answer. So uh, I am just going to add one point for each answer, and then I'll go through each question and I will set those correct answers. I'm not going to show you all the correct answers because I am going to put a link to this quiz in the video so that you can try it yourself and see how good you are at cinema. Um, so I am going to finish this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I hit save on that. The next thing I want to do is add score ranges to my endings. So here you'll see the score ranges that were automatically set for me. So here you can set the ranges. You can either type in or use these little arrows here to set the score ranges. These are actually exactly the score ranges that I want. So I'm going to leave those as is, but it's really easy just to set those ranges. And, and then you can send people down different endings depending on their score. Okay, and then you save on that and we are all set. Okay, and one more thing before we finish off with this form is that in settings here, you can actually change whether or not you want to show people the correct answer. So with this toggle, you can show correct answers and feedback after each question. Or if you don't want to show the correct answer, you just simply toggle that off. This is on by default, so I'm just going to leave it on. I think it's nice to show the correct answer. And then you can also customize answer feedback here. So here it just says correct answer or incorrect answer. Uh, maybe I'll change it to something a bit more fun. So I'll say, you've got it. And then I'll just say, you're wrong. Okay. And then I will just save that here. So that is basically it. But one other thing I do want to do is I want to show people their score at the end of the quiz. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to write you scored and then I will hit the at symbol. So here you'll see a couple of variables pop up. You will see correct answers, max score, quiz score, and total scorable questions. So what I want to do here is I want to say you scored and then I will put the quiz score. So that is their individual score. So you scored this out of, and I'll hit at again, and then I'll say out of the max score. So here I'm showing just their score. You also have the option to, let's just click at for a second here 
to show how many correct answers they got. So you could say um, you got five out of 10 correct answers, depending on what kind of quiz you're doing. But in this case, the score and the questions are all worth one. So it's kind of redundant to put both of them. Uh, so I will just leave that here. Uh, but if you do add an ending in knowledge quiz mode, so I'm just going to click here to add an ending end screen. You will see that it's automatically added here, all of the different variables. So if you do want to just wait to add your endings, then you can automatically have all of these variables populated if that's easier for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that here. And then I will do the same for the other two endings. All right, so that is all set up. Finally, I just want to show you quickly in workflow that you can see the endings here have been added. So you can see that the logic is there to send people to different endings based on their score. And if you click here on one of these toggles, you will see that the score ranges are set up here. And if you need to make any changes from here, you can do that as well. So that is it. I'm going to publish my changes. So I am just going to copy this link and then I will paste that in the description below in case you want to try the quiz yourself and see it in action. Okay, so that is how you can add scoring to your form using knowledge quiz mode and show different endings to your respondents based on that score. Again, if you want to add more advanced scoring than we've shown here, then please watch the videos we have in the description below about adding scoring and adding branching to your form. And for more resources on this and other features of Typeform, as always, don't forget to check out the Typeform Help Center and the Typeform community. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video for more content just like this.